Oh man, I am hungry. Aren't you? I mean, we've been filming all morning. You're not hungry? Really? I know what real hunger is. What are you talking about? Okay, yeah, so I did eat today. And yeah, I do know what my next meal is going to be. What's your point? Well, there are people in the world who don't. Yeah, okay. You're right, you're right. I, I guess I don't know what real hunger is about. I mean, luckily for us and all our viewers at home, our next story is about Hungry for Change, a gala that took place last month on the Western campus. It spread awareness about hunger in the third world, a very important cause and one that we all need to be more aware of. So let's check out the club. So it's a great evening. It uh, brings together entertainment uh, as well as great speakers. But the whole common th uh, theme, the thing that brings us all together, is uh, the idea of international and global health. Uh, so this is initiated uh, last year uh, by a medical student who uh, just feels so strongly, his name is Dax, Dax Biondi, about international health. And what we're trying to do is raise funding, raise awareness, uh, and pretty much just get it into the forefront, the, the inequality and the disparity of, of wealth, resources, uh, health care in the world. So it's nice for this evening to, to kind of get a taste of it and to, to be speaking about it and to have that kind of be at the forefront of our minds for tonight. But also, it's really, really important to uh, fundraise. So this is, as well, not, not only a, a fun evening, but a fundraiser for international uh, health, uh, international health electives. Most notably, uh, the Hrumas Children's Home in uh, Kenya, an orphanage uh, that has been uh, started up by uh, a, a wonderful uh, individual, uh, Mama Zipporah, uh, back in the 80s. She's now taking care of uh, hundred, hundreds of Kenyan children. Uh, she could use a little bit of financial help, uh, and so we're trying to do as much as we can for her, as well as other global health initiatives uh, that medical students. Are, are taken care of as well. What kind of, uh, what kind of performances are taking place tonight? All right, so you heard the, the Junctional Rhythm. That's uh, uh, a band that sort of formed uh, from uh, medical, uh, medical students uh, in our faculty. There will also be a performance by our vocal meds group, which is, I think there's eight or ten of them uh, in a vocal choir. Uh, they'll be uh, singing a little bit during intermission. Uh, we've got Justin Chia playing piano uh, for everyone here, as well as uh, Kevin Potty. Uh, he's our guest speaker, our keynote speaker, and he'll be speaking on the subject of international health. So it's great to see uh, the entertainment that the medical students provide, but it's also going to be great to see uh, what Kevin Potty has to offer in terms of uh, his experience and, and all he's, he's seen within the world of international health as well. And how many people do you expect tonight? Uh, I think tonight we've got uh, roughly 120 to 140 people. So uh, it's going to be a wonderful night. It's bigger than it was last year and uh, that we're just hoping to grow it and grow it and grow it and get it uh, bigger every, every year. And um, any other upcoming events coming up from your organization? Uh, yeah, we're pretty much, uh, we don't just do this dinner. Uh, the whole kind of concept of Hungry for Change uh, started with the dinner, but there's also a ton of global health initiatives. Uh, just this past week, actually, there's a pre-departure training course for many of the medical students who, who will be going overseas this summer, how to not only go overseas, but do it ethically in a way that will incite the type of changes that you know we're, we're looking to get rather than uh, uh, you know something that might be more eth ethically questionable or, or, or maybe not taking to those, those cultural considerations into account. That was last week. It was a wonderful uh, pre-departure training uh, course for everyone. Coming up as well we've got uh, a number of opportunities for uh, uh, fundraising for tachycardia which is raising more uh, raising more funding for the uh, AIDS Committee of London uh, and we pretty much throughout the year uh, the, the meds faculty is doing a lot of fundraising for a lot of different initiatives. And if students want to get involved with this, how can they do that? Do you have a website or an email address? Uh, we do actually. It's www.schulich, that's S C H U L I C H, dot uh, uwo dot ca slash hfc. So, I mean, that has a lot to do with, uh, you know, t tonight and the evening that we're having uh, right now. There's also a lot more about what our organization it is, what we do, uh, what funding goes towards, and, and uh, what we're all about, really, I guess. And uh, one thing that's also important, like I'm the one doing the interview, but there's a host of people behind this whole night, so uh, I don't want to be the only one to take credit. Uh, sorry, Dax Biondi and Rebecca Rappaport especially. A number of people have uh, done a, a great job to bring this evening uh, to fruition. Thank you very much yep. for the information. Thank you.